The Carolinas, we've had numerous rip current rescues this week, and the threat remains high heading into the weekend. For many visitors, rip currents aren't usually something they're thinking of while vacationing. WWA's Emily Andrews spent some time in the sand today talking with visitors. She joins us now in the studio. Emily, how can people stay safe this season? Jeff, yes, many people come to the Cape Fear for fun in the sun, but they also want to make sure that they get the most of their experience by staying safe. In Southport, many enjoying their time along the coast. With the high rip current risk, many visitors to the area are unsure when it is safe to get into the water. One option available, a scannable rip current risk sign. This allows beachgoers to have a plan in hand at all times. If you are caught in a rip current, um, calm down, don't stress, and swim along side of the shoreline. Don't try to swim straight to shore. Drew urges visitors to always be cautious whether you're on the beach or in the intercoastal waterway. He says water moves fast, but if you choose, your response can be faster. Somebody that, that, that's there on the beach can go to one of those stations, grab that life ring and toss it out to that individual. A visitor from Ohio says he and his family go to beaches that do enforce a flag system and one that does have lifeguards monitoring the waters. As a grandparent and uh, a parent, uh, I think it should be uh, the best uh, each, you know, that they could do. Officials remind beachgoers to never hesitate calling 911 when believing to see someone caught in a rip current. Oftentimes those who attempt to perform a rescue become a victim themselves.